One of the biggest parts of the Nintendo 64 era was the multiplayer aspects of this era. Memories upon memories were spent upon playing Mario Party, GoldenEye, and much, much, much more. However, there was one game I played the most with my family and friends, and this game was Super Smash Bros. The first real fighting game I ever got into. Excellent gameplay, a rocking soundtrack, and of course, the reason I wanted to buy the game. The commercial. Something's gone wrong in the happy-go-lucky world of Nintendo. Introducing Super Smash Brothers, where all your favorite characters go toe-to-toe -to -toe in one four-player star-studded slam fest, only on Nintendo 64. But is this game as fun as I remember? Or does this game fail to really impress? Let's find out on my review of... The history for Super Smash Bros. started as a fighting game, but it was called a different game. It was called Dragon King, the fighting game. The idea met the approval for funding for the project, however, it was not fully sanctioned for the prototype. It was a problematic idea to change the name and to have a fighting game that would have Nintendo characters, and also have characters that would have great balance as well, and also to have great gameplay, and would also choose for the Nintendo characters to fight each other. Fast forward to November 19th, 1999, and the game was released on the N64 under the name Super Smash Bros. The gameplay for Super Smash Bros. is very bare bones. First off, you have four options. After pressing start to either the two options along either the one player game or the versus mode. After selecting the one player versus mode, you get to select the player you want to play as. The characters all come with different movesets that benefits how the character handles in combat. There are 10 characters to choose from. You have to unlock a couple of these characters, but I feel like this can add replayability because you'll be playing the game a long while to get the characters and unlock in this game. The characters in this game have great balance because they all have different attributes and abilities. And the best part is they are all Nintendo characters. The first being Luigi. Luigi is pretty basic and I like how broken his up B is. Seriously, he makes Mario look like a joke in this game. Mario is actually one of the weaker characters in this game. The only thing he really has going is his up B, but you can use Luigi for that and that's a lot better. Donkey Kong is a powerhouse. It doesn't make it easier for him to stay on the stage, but you don't want to get punched by him. Link is my personal favorite character and I use him the most in Smash 64. And it's only because he's my favorite video game character of all time, but he's a powerhouse of destruction. But he also has speed to keep up with the faster characters in this game. The next character is Samus. Samus has a gun and when you charge it all the way it does massive damage, but it also makes it harder to really fight. But she is super fast in this game. The next character in this game is Captain Falcon, a fan favorite and he is awesome because he has great movesets and attacks. He has great speed and also allows him to get off the most famous fighting move in gaming history, the Falcon Punch. And trust me, if he makes contact with that thing, you'll be saying bye bye and I'm going to die. The next character is Ness. I was really happy when I first unlocked him, but he's a very technical character and I don't really know how to use him that well. The next character in this game is Yoshi. His main thing is he can turn you into eggs, but his movesets, at least for me, are pretty limited. The next character in this game is Kirby. Kirby may be the most versatile character in the game and possibly the series. He has great movesets that hold up with every character, but also you could swallow him and take your power. The next character in this game is Fox. He is not really my cup of tea. However, if you like a speedy character, Fox is the character for you. The next character in this game is Pikachu. Pikachu, honestly, is only really a speed character, which is great, but he's lacking in firepower to fight. The final character in this game is the weakest character, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff is kind of slow and has weak attack abilities, although her down rest in the next game is really awesome. In this game, she's not good at all. The whole core gameplay of this game is how it works. You see down at the bottom there's a percentage gauge. This percentage gauge makes it easier to knock someone off the edge. If you knock them off the edge, you will either lose life or you will gain a score depending upon the game mode. And that's really all. With the gameplay, there is another game mode, and this is the one player story. And that's fun as well, but as far as the main mechanics goes, you're not really going to get anything more spectacular. It's fun, but it's not always spectacular. The control of this game is really smooth, and I really feel in control when playing this game. And for how simple the movesets are, it will really help anyone trying to get into fighting games. The graphics in this game are a bit to be desired, but I really like how they actually look. They're pretty good for N64 graphics, except the polygon team, holy crap.
The music in this game is great for a fun game. The soundtrack I love, and I love how everyone's music in this game is a remake of the other games, and it's a retrospective on their series. The sound is satisfying, as it really does sound like the characters are beating each other to a bloody blood, and that's super satisfying for some reason. The story is, honestly, there's no story to tell. There is kind of a story mode, but it's fighting. You beat up the hand at the end, and that's really about it. The pros really outweigh the cons for the review of this game. The graphics, music, and sound are perfect, and the game's control are really amazing as well for a fighting game. The cons are a couple things. The story is lacking here. I wish Nintendo could have done a story here. And I really hate the break the targets and board the platform mini games. Those are very time consuming and also it's stupid that you have to do them in order to unlock all the characters. The character balance is a bit unbalanced and some of the characters are really powerful and some really lack in that department. However, the balance for this particular game is actually decent, so I will give it that. Super Smash Bros. is a masterful fighting game and I love how the game plays. This game is one of the best on the Nintendo 64 and I enjoyed it immensely. The only things are the game is bare bones and some of the characters are hard to use or really suck. I give this score a 9.4 out of 10. This review really shocked me how good this game is. You might want to try it out. It's definitely a game you should have for your Nintendo 64. Give it a shot and thanks for watching.